Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Soul Space, the space that fills your soul with adventure motorcycling and garage hacks. Um, today we're going to cover uh, aftermarket levers. <laughs> Today we're going to cover uh, aftermarket levers, KTM 790R Adventure. Uh, a couple quirks with doing that. Aftermarket cheap ones, Chinese ones, you can get them all over the place. They are all shiny and orange and look really, really cool. Some of them are very, really expensive. Um, I got a medium priced set. I'm really happy with them, but they do take a special modification and knowing a couple things or you will end up going online and freaking out like dozens and dozens of others. So stick around and I will show you what's going on with that. So small update on um, those who you want to change your levers on a KTM 790 or 890R. This is the part you need to be aware of. There's a plastic cap here. This side mounts different than the other side. The clutch side, I'm sorry, the front brake side is a five uh, millimeter Allen and uh, a nut on the bottom side. But this portion here is actually threaded. So once you pull the plastic cap off, it will break. It is sacrificial. Uh, pull the nut off and then put a five mil in here and then crank it out. Uh, I just put a little dielectric grease in there in the interim, just keeps it from rust building up and uh, any, any dirt and water getting into the connections there. Um, I'm not that concerned about it because this thing's in the mud all the time. Uh, but if you do get a new front brake, just make sure that the plunger that is in here, those come in different lengths uh, and, and it's up to you, I think, to trim it down. Um, so I have about a millimeter of play here before it ever even touches the, um, the piston that's in here. So you've got, to, you've got to be aware of that because if this gets hot and the pressure backs up through the lines, it will not purge from what I've heard and you can get a, a locked up front brake scenario. So this, this plunger that hits the, uh, hits the actual piston on the end of the piston that, that gives you power, just make sure that that is, uh, that is, uh, has enough play for, so that he can expand and you don't, and riding your finger on here. See, I've got about, almost two millimeters of play before it ever even hits that. If you're changing the uh, lever on the clutch side of the 790 or 890 KTM, uh, this little plastic cap here, this is actually a push in uh, pin, but you, it's five millimeter on the top and then a 10 mil nut on the bottom. You have to pop the plastic cap off. It, it will probably break. Five mil Allen wrench in here, and 10 mil on the bottom. It's just to take the, uh, the nut off the bottom. Otherwise, this, this pin will spin because this one is not threaded. It's just a, a shaft, whereas the other side is threaded. So find five mil on top and uh, 10 mil socket on the bottom. Loosen it and then just push from the bottom. It will, it will come up and out. Uh, clean it well. Um, you don't want any grinding paste in there. And uh, I, I've, there's a little bit of play on this one, but I don't notice it when, I, when I'm pulling. Um, and of course, you know, make sure you have that, uh, that five or 10, uh, eh, of play there. So when the cable, when, when you turn the handlebars, the cable will get tighter and looser as you turn the handlebars. Um, I've adjusted all my, my, my adjustment. So it's exactly where I want it when I ride. Um, so that, that's the, that's the rundown on all of you that are changing the levers. <laughs> 